right, so pre-mission advice. I would say stick to what the mission packet says of what things you need. Like I studied that thing like crazy and I had my highlighters out and I was like marking off everything once I got it. But stick to what it says because they know where you're going. They've sent hundreds of missionaries there before, so just trust the church and definitely try to find other people that have gone to your area. Um, but like, for instance, with mine, it said that I needed a jacket that had like two layers with like a zipper thing. So one was like a waterproof layer and then just a warm layer. I couldn't find those and so I got this huge like pea coat that was like to the floor and everything. It wasn't the best thing to have down there. It did keep me warm, but when it rained it just got soaking wet and it was super heavy. So I would definitely say do the best you can to stick to the, you know, supplies and the clothes that they tell you to get because they know what they're talking about. Um, and it's always really good to talk to a lot of RMs, you know, about their mission and see what advice they have to give you, but honestly everybody's mission is different. So I would just say, just pray the entire process. When you're preparing, just do everything you can to pour your heart out to the Lord and just be like, okay, I'm here to serve you. Like, tell me what I need to do to prepare. So the biggest thing that was for me was it's a really hard mission. Honestly, it's tough. Because of the culture and the traditions in that mission, it's a hard mission. Um, so I would just say, don't get frustrated because you're not having as much success as people you know, in Central America or whatever, where they baptize a million people a week. Don't be frustrated by that because it's a hard mission. Just know that if you're doing everything you can to be a good missionary, that's all that the Lord expects of you. And just remember to do your best. And what's frustrating about the mission is when you're not having success, you blame yourself. But when you are having success, you give all the credit to the Spirit. Like you did nothing. You were just there, you know. And so, I mean, it's good to be hard on yourself to motivate you to work harder, but don't beat yourself up if you're not having all the success in the world and just keep moving forward. Never lose hope and always, you know, have that testimony and that hope that there is somebody out there that's looking for the gospel and you are the person that's going to find them and help them to learn about all the happiness that is possible in the gospel. So just remember that it's hard, but it's so worth it. I wouldn't change it for anything.